Ilio guys and welcome back in today's video I'm going old school boys I haven't done this in a while especially since with my progression in the game and I felt like especially with the new update that now is a perfect time to hopefully bring it back and I encourage you guys after this video to do the same thing or at least you don't have to make a video of it but at least write it down so you can have it you know somewhere that you can see it daily or even weekly and you always have something to work towards and it will help keep you going but let's go ahead and get this party started boys All right, so what I was talking about before was just basically um, what I'm working on now and what I hope to fix in the future. So with the recent update with golems being added and dragons as well, and of course more floors and Tower of Chaos, I number one hope to get to floor 120 by um, the end of next month. We'll, we'll have to see how that goes. Hopefully there's no new crazy tactics there. Um, for golems, once again, I would love to get like a solid B15 team. But I think the problem with that is at the moment, I don't have anything that's optimal for it. Like, I would run it, but if my time isn't going to be anywhere close to my current B10 time, which is like a minute, then I don't want any part in it. Because if it takes me a minute and 40 seconds to auto it, yes, I um, can only get 5-6 to six star gems instead of 4-6 to six star gems. But if that's the case, I'll just go run B11. So, like, right now, my main focus is... is B11 like I would probably just end up skipping the higher ones as well for now and just focus on B11 if I can get B11 time to like something solid then that one energy extra I believe that it adds I'll be content with that for now I'll be content so f for my future progression goal I definitely want to get a solid B11 team out and once um, I crack the code or someone else cracks the code on that, I will be doing a B11 video and, subsequ uh, and subsequently, you know, B12, B13, B14, and B15. But let's go over here to my mom box, boys, because I'm sure you guys are curious to see what it looks like nowadays. Um, I recently did just get my Shadow finally to EVO 3, so I'm super stoked about having him at EVO 3, and he's more usable than ever. And as always, you know, I always mention in my Rebirth videos that I have a list. And you can actually see right here, even with my like crappy handwriting, that like I legitimately like have a list of mods that I want to Evo 3. And I'll just read them off here because for my Nat 4s that I want to Evo 3, I have Fire Yuki, um, Fire Vampire, Fire Jean, Wet Lupin, Wet Loki, Wet Vamp, Wet Cupid, Wet Banshee, Wood Sura, um, my second Light Neza, and then I'm doing Dark Yuki as well because I have like four Dark Yukis. But mainly the um, anything before Light Neza and Dark Yuki is what I'm working for for my Astro Guide where I want it completely filled out. We'll take a look at my Astro Guide after we just go through my mod box because I have the video up anyways. And if you guys are curious to see what I have and have any questions, feel free to ask them. But those are the Nat 4s that I'm working towards using the Evo 3 for the Astro Guide. And my Nat 5 list, um, I need to finish up my Garuda who is very very close to getting evo 3 my wood garuda that is i would love to evo 2 my fire wukong because i have a second one where's he at he's right here of course i want to get my shinobis up there as well and get this guy to evo 2 in the future i'm also working on my light hohenheim who i just recently got because i want to get her to evo 3 obviously because of astro guide purposes and um she's better with the update on her anyways with the sp siphon and then the attack up and um, also, uh, if I didn't mention it, Light Valk as well, just for the Asher Guide. And maybe I'll throw her on my defense team somewhere. But this is pretty much my mod box, boys. Um, I'm still working on a Fire Gemini video, <laughs> which I've been working on for like the past year. So hopefully that will come out within the next year, boys. I have a whole bunch of Nat 4 fodder because obviously from the um, Heroes Festival, I, I didn't really get too much other than Nat 4 fodder. I did sacrifice some, though, just to get some gems from um, Verde when she was here, but I have no plans on building another Verde at this point in time. Now, once she comes back once again, hopefully I'll be done with all of these other excess Nat 4s, and I can just freely feed every single Nat 4 that I get that isn't like Lupin or one of the other hard, harder to get mons. I can just feed those into the blender and hopefully end up completing my astro guide for all the rebirth astromon re regardless if they're light or dark or not so that's the end game goal for me um let's just keep going while i'm talking right here um i'm also working on my titans teams as well they seem to be coming along um i would like more progression in them 
I'm not necessarily looking to be number one. I do want to help out the boys over there in Kaizen just a little, a tad bit more. And then I feel like I'll be satisfied with that. But, um, I mean, I don't have any plans to do anything amazing. It's nice that um, Artemis, my two sappers, are now a lot more usable than what they were before. Because, obviously, with the go uh, golems being so tanky, you can't just nuke everything in the later golems. I do need to get your trinket game up as well. I'm slowly working on the trinkets. I've been farming out gold for them. Because you guys always know that I have gold, but I have been giving away gold to the trinkets, and I will continue to do that. But the problem is, is of me getting at least four star trinkets is rough, man. I don't even want a five star or six star trinket. I mean, I'll take it, but even even getting a decent four star trinket, dude, it's just rough. But, you know, you got to have problems somewhere. There's my lovely Shiva. He's not perfect, but he does okay. He does okay. His trinkets are garbage. I understand. I understand. Once again, something that needs to be worked on, which is perfectly fine. Um, I'm also interested in getting up my world boss damage as well. Um, currently, only one of my teams does over 30 million. Um, I, I think they, they, did, they did like 31 million total, so nothing too amazing. I would love, love to get my second team over 30 million, and hopefully my third team close to 30 million, but not over 30 million, because I obviously do live in reality, and not everything can be perfect. Um, the Wendigos here are here for a reason because I still need water yetis so I can finish up getting my light knee for the Evo 3 for you guess it, the Astro Guide. And her being double hunter, I'm going to keep her and I'm just going to build her and have fun with her because why not? I went through all this trouble of getting her to Evo 3, so why not? Um, let's keep scrolling through here though. I don't really use my Wood Nightmare to be honest. I should. I need to give her more respect even though she's on Pug, but... Once again, she's like a no trinket Sally, so it's oof, man. But yeah, these these are the mons. Um, once again, I, I am working towards Wood Garuda. Uh, my Water Garuda just needs one more gleam, and then he's done, and I can get him the Evo three and be done with him. Shinobi, he's gonna get fed one day. Jen, I'll never have an Evo three Jen because I've been playing this game for a couple years now. Still don't have an Evo three Jen. Still don't. But let me go over here and feed him real quick. I could have sworn I was missing a gym, boys. I could have sworn that I needed one more. But let me go over here and evolve him real quick. Oh, boys, I lied. Here in this video right here, boys, we can finally see Elio's first Evo 3 gen. Holy crap, dude. Because, I mean, I'm not going to gleam gens up unless I run out of things to gleam. Um, so I've just been getting whatever I can from the um, sigil runs, the essences. And I finally now have a Evo 3 fire gen, boys. It's a little too late because, you know, there's Fire Draca, Fire Siegfried, Dark Tina, Light Tina, uh, Light and Dark Sarah, um, Dark Mona. The list just goes on and on, but it's nice that he's Evo 3. That's definitely one for the Astro Guide, which we'll take a look at here in a second. But I'm stoked, dude. I am stoked. I might just raise him because why not, but... Yeah, this is pretty much the squad here. Um, for PvP, I'm still rocking double light Yuki, um, my dark Merlin lead, and then my uh, light Griffin, Griffin boy, who recently I d just got some better gems for him. So hopefully I can get his resist up higher and give him some more attack because right now he's been on like HP, HP defense, I believe, or HP defense, defense. Let's take a look. Yep, HP, HP defense. Because the game literally refused to give me any attack gems but I finally got attack gem today so hopefully I can get him up to par um, I feel like my light sig could be a lot better as well once again it's just a process unfortunately and I'm working towards you know slowly working towards getting things together Hohenheim I made her like probably less than a week ago so not only does she need to be leveled up but she needs some better gems but for now this is what she has not in a big rush I'll be in a big rush once she's closer to Evo 3 that's the second light Neza I'm working on. I just need one more Evo 2 Neza, and she's solid. There's my Dark Indie Boy. I would love to have him on a freaking full set. I would love to have, even if it's Valor right now, I would love to have him on Ruin. But the way the cards play, boys, it's, it's rough, man. It's rough. But that's what he has right now. Of course, I'll be farming Golems out to the end of time to hopefully get him a better set. But it is what it is at the moment. Uh, there's my Dark Kraken. Nothing amazing there. Still work in progress. Dark Miho. I'm satisfied with her at the moment. Because I have um, the fully grown up version. And then I have the lowly one. Where one has a little bit more crit rate than the other. And the other one has more resist than the other. 
And it looks like I need to book her up as well because her damage definitely would be a lot better. There's Shadow. He's always been a work in progress. He's been a struggle. But now that he's finally Evo 3, I can finally kick things in high gear and work to get him just a lot better. Because even if I don't use him in PvP, he's still used one clan versus clan. And my biggest plan for him, of course, is just to be part of my PvE um, Get Rex squad, which would just be my Shadow Lead, um, Light Dark C Light Dark Sarah, and then my Fire Draga. And congratulations, PvE is always done in forever, unless I'm leveling up a Mon. But I'm definitely stuck to have him up, especially with his attack up. I should definitely try him in PvP as well, especially the Champion League when that comes around. Because even though I'm filthy casual, with the slime nerf, um, I gotta get my gym somehow, boys. Hey, no, no, don't, don't you say donate. Don't you say donate, boys. Don't. I donate plenty of videos to YouTube for 433 and its game, so that's self promotion. That's self promotion and MSL promotion in itself, boys. I, I don't want to hear it. Um, once again, I did say some more dark geekies because why not? I mean, I have two of them. This this isn't a flex at all. I just have two of them, but I believe I have two more in my box as well. Um, I also have this guy here. I got him to Evo 3, and I figured, why not, man? Just <laughs> What else am I going to do? Loki needs to get Evo 3 one day, too, but that's going to be a freaking century. Uh, and here's my Mon box over here of what I got in storage. I never really use Fire Anew. I'm not a big fan of him. You guys know that from the tier list video. Nothing amazing in here, just a whole bunch of fodder as well. Or Mons that I never use. I'm sure some of you guys look at this and you're like, wow, dude, I wish I had this, I wish I had that. It's just another day, boys. It's just another day. There's plenty of accounts that destroy mine in every asset. I need to clean this out, but I'm still waiting for freaking Andy Kane to come back, man. When can we get Andy Kane so I can work on my Astro Guy, boys? When? But yeah, that's the Mon Box. Nothing... Nothing incredible there. Uh, I would love to get my silver next to Evo 3, so that's going to be a while, but that's my next plan for World Boss. Basically, basically, just save up some more Gleams, get him to Evo 3 like I did with Shadow. So once I finish Hohenheim, I think I'm going to go over to silver, and I'll be completely done with feeding freaking Evo 2 Super Holy Gleams to these mods because it just takes forever. Definitely possible, but it just takes a while, boys. And yeah, that's this is the mod box, man. Evo 3 Dark Sig in the foreseeable future. No plans yet because I'm dropping all of my other freaking um, gleams and other mons. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And um, this is the Astro Guide over here that I'm working on. I'm not going to scroll down because it's just going to take forever. But let me get those gems real quick. Alright, but I'm sitting at 341 out of 396 for the fire. Um, 346 out of 396 for the water. 350 out of 402 for the wood. 270 out of 396 for the light and in 263 out of 393 for the dark now i understand that i will never complete this because that's just statistically impossible even if i donate it because of nat fives but like i said before i'm just aiming to get as close as i can and if that keeps me going in the game and that keeps me happy then that's really all that matters because it doesn't matter if i'm at the uh, if i'm the best at pvp or titans or whatever as long as at the end of the day I can go home and just be a straight smilers because of my Astro Guide, even when the game shut down, shuts down, that's all that matters, boys. So it's just a matter of figuring out what makes you happy and what you would like to do in the game and just going with that, boys, because at the end of the day, it is a game. But yeah, I'm definitely working on an Astro Guide. Um, B11 is my next focus right now. Golems B11. Dragons. I honestly don't really do dragons, hence I don't. Hence I just got my first Evo 3 gen, so that's something I'll work towards later on. But if I can get B11 down to a solid time, um, that's going to be the first step. But let's go over here actually, because I just remembered with the festival going on, and boys, let's go ahead and get this Light Jean, John, whatever her name is, to Super Evo, boys. So let's go ahead and drop this three mil, man. I just wanted to share this moment with you guys. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So hopefully she'll get a lot more use as well. Why is that so giant now, dude? I can't even see her face. My goodness. But yeah, that's pretty much it, boys. Um, 
Once again, this is just for future progression of things that I'm working towards in the game and things that I would like to do. And I encourage you, if you're kind of lost and not sure what to do, to just make a list of maybe do you want to work on your Astro Guide? Do you want a better Water Titans team? Do you want a better Fire Titans team? Do you want to work on Trinkets? Make a list of it so you can see it every day, if not every couple days or every week when you play. Keep it in the back of your mind and always work towards it and strive towards it because that's the best way to improve. Constantly, constantly being reminded of something that you need to work towards because I feel like, at least for me, it helps keep me focused on my goals and not feel like I'm lost or I'm just playing the game just to play it. I feel like I have a desire to do things and achieve things because they're right in front of me all of the time. But I definitely hope you, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I just took you through like a brief walkthrough of my mind box while I talked so you just don't see the screen the entire time. If you guys have any questions about any mods, leave a comment below. You know your boy will answer them like a day later or sometimes a two days later, sometimes a week later if... Okay, here's the deal. This side rant. Here's the deal. When I get like a whole bunch of comments, which I'm grateful for, it like floods my inbox, which is fine. But there's some comments that I just end up missing because it might be like one more scroll scroll wheel down and then I go to clean up my inbox like a couple of days later and then I see the comment and then I'm like, ooh, let me answer this, but this might be awkward. So that might that, that explains why some of the responses might be late. It's not that I intend to do it that way. It's just that when I clear my inbox out, sometimes the older messages that I never opened up finally pop up. But that's that's it for the video guys. Once again, thank you so much for your time. Hit that like button if you like the video and like to see this in the future. And if you haven't if you haven't considered subscribing already, go ahead, hit that sub button boys. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.